One of the best moments I've seen in this whole nutty healthcare debate was in a cartoon. A woman was right in the face of her representative, yelling her point in rage. He calmly looked her in her bugging eyes and said, we'll be sure to have mental health care too. Good rational debate is a sign of a healthy and free society, free of intimidation, free of fear and such. From the looks of it, except for Bill Moyers and the News Hour, reasonable conversations getting drowned out by many who may have good points and poignant stories to tell, but they've been terrorized by the right-wing terrorists of the airwaves, who we know have great health insurance and just hate the president. And all these folks want to do is turn off the lights upstairs and hear themselves yell and scream, throwing very unadult tantrums. Rage has replaced any sense of reason. Look, I don't have health insurance myself, but people have a right to it and something has to be done and done with clear heads. Ironic, isn't it? An honest effort to fix and reform a broken, unjust, and unhealthy system controlled by huge, wealthy corporations has become a dying patient on the operating table, endlessly waiting for good basic care. Is any plan perfect? Of course not. But we know Band-Aids won't help anymore. Do we need to do something, something radical, something now? You know we do. Better health for all of us begins with a heavy dose of mental health. Keeping this mess on life support is insane. We need a more practical prescription that works for everyone or the prognosis won't make any difference. Can we do the best we can do to make it better? Let's hope so. We need to work at it now. If people are enraged, take a walk, kick a ball, hit a pillow. Don't make your frustration an obstacle for the rest of us to move forward. Good health to you, to us, and to the nation. I wish us well in body and in mind.